Olá malta, bem-vindos a mais um episódio FIFA Realista com o nosso Aston Villa. Antes de começar o episódio de hoje, confessar que fiz cocó. E porquê é que eu fiz cocó? Porque para quem ver esta série vai reparar que saltámos aqui um par de jogos que será um bocadinho mais. O que aconteceu? Um, tentei gravar uma série assim um pouco mais longa para não fazer jogo a jogo e eu como um típico burro um, não tinha a cena configurada no OBS e quando digo a cena é literalmente a cena para gravar através do executável do FIFA. Portanto, basicamente tinha duas gravações, ecrã preto e somente com a minha voz, que obviamente eu não ia postar. Ou seja, o que aconteceu? Agora na última jornada empatámos ali fora com o Leicester, portanto perdemos dois pontos e com isso perdemos o primeiro lugar. Está neste momento com o Newcastle que continua sendo rotas. Basicamente é isso. Na, na Conference League voltámos a vencer de goleada 6-1. O Bodo Glint, desta vez em casa, tínhamos assim desde 6-1 também fora. Aí demolidores, mas aqui cedemos dois pontos. O que significa que agora temos que correr atrás do prejuízo e o que vem aí é o City em casa que está a subir pouco a pouco só tem uma derrota, tem a 4 empates portanto já perderam muitos pontos é, mas está a subir pouco a pouco e está ali a 6 pontos no 5 lugar e portanto prevê-se uma jornada complicada para nós que em termos de 11 inicial não quero fazer grandes mudanças a não ser voltar a chamar o Sabitzer, que não vai iniciar a titular, mas já vai ao banco, até porque fisicamente ainda não está a 100%, mas de resto é mesmo só isto, é com este onço que nós vamos, e vamos então receber o City no grande jogo da jornada e que vamos ver então como é que nos vai correr é, vai estar nublado pelo menos não há chuva siga então para jogo desfrutem da partida e falamos no intervalo portanto, até já Our camera lens trained on one man. What a fabulous start to the season for him. Does he have more goals in his future? Stay with us. Hello everyone and welcome. Our footballing travels have taken us to the Midlands. We're at Villa Park. I'm Derek Ray and keeping me company here on the commentary gantry is Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Aston Villa facing Manchester City. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. Here's how the lineup looks for Aston Villa. Good luck. Yes. Thank you. Good game. Good game. Hey, good game. Thanks. Good. 
And here's the Manchester City lineup. Everson is the goalkeeper. Joao Cancelo starts with Kyle Walker as fullbacks. Kevin De Bruyne plays alongside Rodri in the centre of midfield. And providing the main goal scoring threat today is Erling Haaland. Thank you, Villa Park. Enjoy the game. And now they get the ball rolling. Saint Maxima delivering it into the box and just wide of the post with a header. Erling Haaland. De Bruyne now. City moving the ball forwards. What can they do from here? Excellent defending. So for Aston Villa, a draw it was in the last game against Leicester. Oh, what a great chance this is, Derek. And a goalkeeper on top of his game. Well, it's great goalkeeping. What a big save that is. <laughs> Who can they pick out? He's going forward well here. Has a go. Well, simple for the keeper. Rodri. Well, as we look at the table, the opportunity very much there for the hosts to go top if they can win. Well, at this stage of the season, Derek, the table starts to reflect the true quality of the teams. And I have to say, they've been excellent so far. Let's hope they're at their best today. March. Corner for Manchester City. And the short option preferred. Foden. Now with De Bruyne. And rattling the post. Well, what a good start this is by City. They really have played well so far. You can sense a goal is coming. Kim Min Jae. Well, you can probably see why we're focusing on this fellow as one to watch. Stewart, in particular, what do you expect to see from him? Well, I think we can expect goals if his form is anything to go by. You just hope that back line have been studying the tapes because most teams have really struggled to keep him at bay. Pau Torres. Serginho Dest. This attack looks highly promising. And looking towards the back post. Not away completely. He read the cross, but now must clatter it clear. Sloppy in possession from City. Sam Maxima. Potential danger here. Cross could be useful. Oh, it's off the post. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Well, that was a bit unlucky, because you just get the feeling they need to make the most of one of these chances. 
Yes, so near indeed. But now they've got to concentrate on keeping their defensive shape. Must take the lead here. Oh, but he's missed it. How on earth is this still level? Well, I just don't know, Derek. Just a real lack of composure in the end. They should be ahead now. Dest. He went in so dangerously with that tackle. Now, the referee is the man everyone's looking at. And it is red. He's been given his marching orders. Well, it's a definite red. He's put his team under a lot of pressure now. for that pass oh that's a really good run well, let's see about the cross and it goes well the pressure has been mounting and now they have the lead well here it is again he goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder and it ends up with a fairly simple finish certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that continues and City looking to offer a swift response to that setback Holland and now it's Phillips De Bruyne he read the situation defensively and did his job Rodri Holland. He's lost it. And the referee allowing advantage to accrue to them. Chance to attack using wit. And he's waiting in the centre, unaccompanied. And the keeper had plenty to think about with bodies around him. Tielemans Diaby nicely timed tackle De Bruyne Holland and now it's Phillips March might be able to get in behind the defence a very timely interception. De Bruyne. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Kevin De Bruyne. Rodri. Fractionally offside. <laughs> Promising attack, this. Erling Haaland. They might be able to get in now. Not to be this time. And plenty of room in the wide area. Good looking cross.
Well, it looks so threatening, but the danger averted. De Bruyne. Well, they continue their push for the equaliser, but definitely not forcing it. Well, it was a good-looking sequence, but it comes to an end. Oh, and a perfect ball now. How about this? Is it going to be? Can he find the net? I hesitate to say it, but I think that qualifies as an oops moment. Yeah, the less said about that, the better. That's a really poor effort. Phillips. Guardiol. Kevin De Bruyne. And he read it well. Diaby. On to Holland. A very effective challenge put in. Oh, great vision. And he's found a bit of daylight. De Bruyne. On to Holland. Chance to finish. Oh, that's textbook goalkeeping. And he's fired over the corner. And did his job defensively. He's enjoying space. Good tackle, take it away. Well, as an official, you have to be cautious when it comes to an injury situation like this one. And the game restarted by means of a drop ball. Well, there we have it. That's going to be all for the first half here in the Midlands. Well, part of the story here, Erling Haaland struggling to make... Bem, estamos à frente. Um, infelicidade ali para o City com a expulsão do Phil Foden. Um, a nível geral, também... Estamos agora a dominar, mas até a altura estava até a ser um jogo bastante uh, disputado, com oportunidades de um lado e do outro. E, portanto, acabamos de chegar ao gol logo a seguir à expulsão do Phil Foden, a explorar ali aquela direita que estava em inferioridade, no cruzamento do Dest para a finalização do San Maximan. Agora, para a segunda parte, vamos manter aqui a estratégia, sem arriscar muito, um pouco mais recuados e aproveitar nas transições a ver se fazemos o, o 2 0 e à medida que o jogo se enrolar vamos então com que alterações é que poderemos fazer mas por agora é assim que vamos para a segunda parte siga lá e falamos no final so back on the way here into the second half Pau Torres. Now here's Biragi. Uzchan. Good movement. How about a cross? Cross blocked. Great strong tackle. Throw in forthcoming.
Can they take advantage? And he clears it out of harm's way. Kevin De Bruyne. Joao Cancelo. De Bruyne now. Just a quick reminder, we've got Champions League group stage action for you to look forward to here on EA TV. It's Manchester City against Atletico. That looks a really entertaining game. Two good teams with two excellent coaches. I can't wait for that one to come round. Fractionally offside. And Manchester City will go to their bench. Number seven, Sully Mount, to be replaced by number 10, Jack Grealish. Given away by City. Given away by Manchester City once more. Teammates available. Sam Maxima. Oh, managing to beat him. Well, they've won themselves a corner and a chance perhaps to add an additional goal for security. Who can they pick out? And the counter-attack is on. Options available. And it looked like open road for them, but up a dead end. Who's Chan? Kim. Useful looking position, you've got to say. Diaby. Crossed into the penalty area. And still dangerous. Tielemans. On to Diaby. Gives it a go. Well, tremendous block. After the foul, a chance to contemplate what is next and perhaps a goal from this free kick. A change of the offing for City. Number two, Kyle Walker. Coming onto the pitch, number eight, Mateo Kovacic. Not the best free kick we'll see today. Well off target. Well, not really what he was looking for there. That's a waste of a good situation. Well, these stats confirm how poor their finishing has been. Their general build-up play until that final shot has been excellent. And they really should be out of sight by now. Will they live to regret it? Nuno Mensch. De Bruyne now. Grealish. This could level it. Well, last gasp defending, but brilliant defending. The referee has decided to give the free kick decision the way of City. Well, he's lost it.
Mateo Kovacic. It's with Joao Cancelo. Here's Kovacic. Kovacic. And with that, the attack fizzles out. The danger here as he runs at them. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Mateo Kovacic. Diesch. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter attack. Happy birthday to Take it away. He won the ball. And space for them here on the flank. And the cross goes in. Well, when it left the boot, I thought it might have a chance of fooling the keeper, but it didn't. Joao Cancelo. It's with Joao Cancelo. Here's Kovacic. Beautifully weighted ball. Cancelo. Kovacic. On to De Bruyne. Tremendous block. And really pressing their opponents. Losing possession a bit easily. Diesch. De Bruyne now. Erling Haaland. Mateo Kovacic. Cancelo. Well, real difficulty keeping the ball. A quarter of an hour remaining here. Well, it's almost over, but not quite. The fans still with a bit of nail-biting to do, Stuart. Well, they need to hold on here. Not long left now, but you have to say they've defended really well up to this point, and I just can't see them conceding now. This will be a really good win if it stays like this. Holland. Well read to put an end to that attack. Moving it forward. Tielemans being egged on by the crowd Keeper did his job to begin with well they haven't overcome all the difficulties a routine save well great read there to intercept Beautifully disguised ball, and the alarm bells are ringing. What a save! And clears the danger. Sam Maxima. Very quick thinking there. It is advantage Manchester City here. Well, there's still scope for late drama here. Five minutes left, and just one goal between the sides. Mateo Kovacic. Aston Villa will get the throw in. Yeah. 
Serginho Dest. Here's Kim Min Jae. Oh, good vision. He's managed to get in behind. And a goal! They lead by two now. And that allows them to breathe a bit more easily. Well, here it is again. And it's a superbly weighted through ball to break that defensive line. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. So underway again, and a 2-0 advantage here. Minch. And the referee has deemed that an additional four minutes are in order. Marcel Zabitza. De Bruyne now. Joao Cancelo. On to Holland. Can he get one back? Goalkeeper doing his job, getting the touch. City get the corner. Put in by De Bruyne. Oh, blocked it! Opportunity here. Great block again. And he did what he had to do defensively. And that is that. The final whistle here. And maximum points picked up by Aston Villa. What did you make of it? Well, fairly comfortable in the end, wasn't it? Thought they controlled the middle of the park well. Going forward, there was some really nice incisive play too. It's a good result for them. Well, we're highlighting him for a reason, Stuart. He's put in a really authoritative performance here. Well, it's a good performance. He worked hard, played well and scored a goal. And his team won. What more could you ask for? A feito, vitória sobre City 2-0. Uh, por um lado, ainda bem que eles ficaram com 10, porque o jogo acabou por não ser nada fácil. Uh, muito disputado à segunda parte, nós também tentámos controlar ao máximo e o jogo tornou-se algo físico em alguns momentos, mas depois o jogo praticamente não teve paragens, por isso é que as alterações depois acabei por fazer só quase no final do jogo e acabei por fazer 5 de uma vez e depois assim que fizemos essas alterações eles arriscaram tudo e nós numa saída de bola muito inteligente deixámos superioridade numérica na frente e o Zaniolo numa desmarcação fez então o 2-0 e deixou aí, por aí as esperanças do, do City ao mesmo jogo São Maximá que fez o gol 1-0 um uh, e no geral também foi uma dor de cabeça ali para o Kyle Walker enquanto lá esteve grande jogo, depois Zaniolo porque entrou e fez o gol portanto 100% eficaz e não se podia pedir mais sabe ter fez a assistência depois mais destaques, Paulo Torres e o Kim In Jai anularam por completo o Haaland e o Dest que também fez a assistência para o primeiro gol aqui em destaque e o Melano Martinez com a baliza em branco finalmente um jogo sem sofrer gols e logo contra o City se bem contra 10 mas boa marca, uma clean sheet e portanto está feito 3 pontos vamos então à flash interview Is it alright if we just ask you a couple of questions? Estou contente com o resultado, com certeza. Esta pergunta não faz sentido porque o Oscar 
não jogou bem. Portanto, é uma das falhas do FIFA ainda. Até aos dias de hoje. Aí está, mas relativamente à nossa... Desde a primeira jornada que não perdemos um jogo. E, portanto, vou apenas dizer que não estamos obcecados com esse recorde. Suposto recorde podemos estar a correr atrás dele. Mas não é isso que interessa jogo a jogo. Então, contra o City, sempre uma grande vitória. Estamos, estivemos sempre confiantes que íamos ganhar o jogo hoje. Defendemos muito bem. Isso é verdade. Depois, finalmente, sem sofrer golos. Então, grande atitude e concentração por parte da equipa. Então, está feito. Mais 3 pontos. E agora, vamos estar de volta à Conference League. Ok, aqui o Sam Maxima contente pela confiança dada. Vamos ver o que é que ele pode oferecer à equipa. Vamos então Conference League. Vamos visitar o PAOC à Grécia. Portanto, o primeiro lugar está garantido. Portanto, agora é só uma questão de cumprir calendário. E obviamente vamos aproveitar estes jogos da Conference League para dar a oportunidade a outros jogadores, nomeadamente jogadores menos utilizados, tirando aqui a lateral direita que vai ser um problema, mas eu tenho a ideia que tinha visto um jogador aqui que podia fazer lateral direito, ah, era aqui o Patterson, mas ele pode fazer lateral esquerdo e não lateral direito, mas de qualquer forma vamos ver como é que fica montada a equipa em termos físicos, claro, para depois ver, ver onde é que podemos pegar. Portanto vamos, preparação para a quinta jornada da Conference League, que não tem tido grande história no nosso grupo, só vitórias. E portanto, próximo episódio será então a visita ao PAOC em mais um jogo europeu. Vamos ficar por aqui. Desta vez espero, eu, eu portanto, já ia dizer, espero não ter feito cocó na gravação deste episódio, mas eu por acaso fiz um double check antes, que é o que se deve fazer. Enfim. Da minha parte agora é tudo, obrigado por estarem desse lado, por terem assistido ao vídeo, já sabem, like and subscribe e a gente vê-se no próximo. Grande abraço.